Good afternoon everyone, it's Carol here from aquahaven747.com. In today's video, I'd like to share with you how I organize my chest freezer with IKEA bins. Now, if that is something that interests you, please keep watching and I'll see you at the end. So the first thing I did was to clean everything out because there was a little bit of a buildup of frost on uh, a couple of the edges. Um, unfortunately, no matter how well you organize it, you may have uh, to do that periodically. Now to cut down on cleaning time with uh, and defrosting and extend your defrost time that you have to do, um, make sure that this stays closed as much as possible so anyway uh, so I cleaned all this out um, now before I got the bins I measured you know the length the depth um, how deep it was this way there's a little step you step up usually um, where the motor is kept in it so you lose that space now my freezer here also had one of those racks that went across the top for the, like a little extra organization. However, um, it does not fit in there with all of my bins. So I'll put all the bins in there and show you how that works. The bins I'm using from Ikea are called Halbar. I hope I pronounced that properly. Uh, they are supposed to be for garbage and recycling. You may have seen um, some of the smaller ones I used in kitchen organization but I've got three of the large ones here I'll list the sizes uh, that I've used down below in the description um, as you can see they do not fit in here perfectly I had to offset them because of the handles now if whatever uh, containers you get it's important to get them with the handle at least for the bottom ones and I like these uh, lids because you can stack things on top. I don't have to um, open the whole lid, but if I want it to get, it, get out the whole bin, I can do that. I've put the handle going to the back on this side and this side so it doesn't interfere with this one. So it makes it a little bit easier um, to let that out. Um, so that's it for the first part okay so i've got the six small bins on the top here on top of stacked on top of the three large ones down below and you will probably notice that i do not have the handles sticking up i have them tucked under a little bit because you don't need to take them out you can just easily lift the lid and see what's in there and um, so that is that. Um, also at the side here, um, I've got a couple of pie shells, some salmon fillets in a, in a cooler pack. And I am gonna be filling this space with uh, something else. It's important um, to not overfill your freezer but also not underfill it. Um, it does need a little bit of air flow to circulate around it um, so that it uh, optimizes uh, its cooling as much as possible. However, uh, if it's too empty, um, that's gonna cost more money because it is working harder to cool that space. So um, we don't wanna do that. After you have sorted your food into the different categories that uh, you use, uh, and yours are probably going to be different from mine, um, I don't uh, do a lot of um, pre-made processed food, uh, I try to keep it as uh, basic as possible, um, but you need to label each bin. Um, now the large uh, Halbar bins come with these uh, colored circles so I've color coded mine as well you don't have to do that that's an extra step 
Uh, the small bins here come with little white circles, so you could even just uh, label label that. I have a Dymo Letra Tag uh, labeler, so I have also put on exactly what each what each thing is. And uh, you know, you don't have to do that either. You could just use a piece of masking tape and a marker to label, but l label your bins. Final step in my freezer organization is to keep an inventory. So I've made these uh, free printables, um, which you can grab um, on my website. I will link the blog down below. Um, where there's a link so you can grab these uh, for free if you're interested in having one as well. I have laminated mine and I put it on both sides so I can keep a track of um, the different bins. You know, you'll be making your own categories um, based on what you eat. I've got poultry, breads and baked goods, large meat, small meat, um, what else? The other side, but, uh, vegetables and fruit, and then other was the things that didn't fit in the uh, bins. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So I hope you got some good ideas from this video, and uh, I will see you in the next one.